So I recently posted a review of the Perlis and R7Ts and S7Ts, and look, these speakers are stunning, but at the same time, not everyone has 10,000 smackaroos to drop for the R7s or a cool $20,000 that they can drop on the S7Ts. So in today's quick video, I decided to take a moment and share some meaningful advice on speakers that not only sound incredible at a fraction of that price, but in some cases, hear me, might even be a legitimate rival to the Perlissons. So coming in at number five with a retail price of $5,000, which is half the price of the R7Ts, I'm gonna suggest that you take a good look at the Ryan R630s. I had a pair of these many years ago and I thought they were one of the best sounding ported towers that I have ever spent quality time with. Not only that, they look absolutely gorgeous and they are built like a freaking tank. Todd and Trevor Ryan are passionate about high quality sound and they have done an incredible job with making speakers that simply get the heck out of the way of the music. Now I'm gonna say this, I do think that both of the Perlissons might have a slight, and I mean a slight advantage on really deep bass over the R630s. I honestly feel like Everything else, all of it, would be a fair fight and it might come down to personal preference. The Ryan brothers definitely care about offering a linear speaker and even more, they actually design the drivers that are in their speakers. So yeah, they're doing it right. So take a serious look at the Ryan R630 if you want a similar sound as the R7Ts at half the price. As I mentioned in the Perlison video, I gotta give a shout out to the number four speaker and it is such an easy pick. The Q Acoustics Concept 500. Man, that, that speaker is a fantastic sounding option. With dual gel core and a Helmholtz resonator to deal with cabinet resonances, the Concept 500s give that spooky performance in the room that makes you quickly forget that all of that sweet sound is even coming from a pair of speakers. We reviewed these guys a while back, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. Trust me when I say this, those speakers are insanely good, and they are a definite contender to both of the Perlison offerings. While not quite as clean or refined as either of the Perlisons, I'm just being honest, I gotta say, for somebody on a budget, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with the Polk Audio R600s, and if you haven't seen that review, definitely check it out right now. These towers won't give you the same bass texture and resolution as the R7Ts, and the overall clarity in mid-bass and bass is probably closer to the S7Ts, but my goodness me, those speakers sounded insane for the asking price, and they do share one common thing with the Perlison design, which is they do have down-firing ports. I won't go into great length about the Polks because we already did a review, measurements, the whole nine yards, so make sure you check that out. I'll leave it in the description box down below. So of course, we need to talk about some open baffle offerings, even though it's a totally different animal than what the Perlissons are offering, so here we go. And to make life easy, I'm gonna tie in a number of great options in our number two spot. Spatial Audio M3 Sapphires, N no duh. I mean, that's easy competition for both of the Perlissons and actually rivals the S7Ts when it comes to bass texture and tone. Spatial Audio X4s, again, same thing can be said as the M3 Sapphires. They're gonna take the lead when it comes to bass texture and tone when we compare them to the S7Ts, and both the Sapphires and the X4s will at least, hear me, pick a fight with the top-end extension, definition, and clarity offered by both of the Perlissons. And yes, for sure, absolutely, the stunning GR Research NX Auticas with H-Frame subs. If you're into do-it-yourself, these will absolutely give you all of the clarity and definition and detail of both of the Perlissons and what they have to offer. There's no doubt about that. In all of these open baffle offerings, you're gonna easily get most, if not all, of the performance of the Perlissons R7Ts and the S7Ts at a fraction of the price. 
And last, after a lot of consideration, and I kept thinking about this when I was working on the Perlison Review, I need a speaker presentation that's gonna be super close, super close to what the Perlisons bring to the table in terms of their voicing, all of it, everything. And after a lot of thought, I've made up my mind. With turnkey solutions now being offered, the GR Research XLS Encore, the humble XLS Encore, with open baffle subwoofers, those are gonna be do-it-yourself, it's got to be my number one pick that I can think of that will absolutely, without a doubt, give you what these fantastic speakers do offer, and it's truly going to be at a fraction of the cost. I covered these speakers in a video down below, and you can check it out. One thing that is worth mentioning, as I said, the subwoofer packages from GR, they're not, they're not turnkey, so that would be delving into a do-it-yourself project. But even still, if you're grabbing a pair of XLS Encores that you bought turnkey and you paired those with any great sounding stereo subwoofers out there, you would be right where you need to be. So yeah, the per listens have my respect, no doubt about that, but let's get real. Not everyone can afford them. So it's my job in this video just to give you some options that might be easier to digest and even more easier on the piggy bank. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.